This is presented by HPS Trade, Japanese freight forwarder in Thailand. Hello everyone. It's Eno. Here is the new program for you. It's a logistics quiz. On this channel, we have a motto that it's fun to learn logistics. Today, I created this new quiz program for you to test your knowledge of logistics and trading. I hope you will enjoy it. First of all, let me explain how to enjoy the quiz. The quiz for today is for encoderms. Each picture regarding to encoderms will be shown on the screen. From the image, you need to guess which term, such as XWorks or FOB, is applicable for the image. The key for you to check is the responsibility point of logistics cost and cargo risk between an exporter and an importer. If you haven't got a clue at all, please refer to the related video links attached in the comment section. So, try it out after you have watched these videos. Here we go. First question. Which Inca term is applicable? A. DDP B. X works C. FOB D. CIF The answer is B, X works. This image shows the buyer, importer, is responsible for the cost of logistics and the risk of cargo from the exporter's factory. Therefore, the correct term is X works. Next question. Which Inca term is applicable to this? A, CIF. B, DDP. C, CFR. D, FOB. The answer is B, DDP. It's the opposite of X works. The seller, exporter, is responsible for the cost of the logistics and the risk for cargo from the exporting factory to an importer's delivery location. Therefore, the correct term is DDP. And third question. Which Inca term is applicable to this? A, FCA. B, DAP. C, DPU. D. CFR. This one is a bit tricky. The answer is D. CFR. The exporter is responsible to cover the logistics cost until the importing port. However, the exporter is also responsible for the cargo risk until the exporting port. In the encoderms group C, responsibility of cost and risk location is not the same as other terms. So you need to be careful to remember this term. Fourth question. Which Inca term is applicable to this? A. DAP. B. CPT. C. FOB. D. DPU. The answer is C, FOB. With this term, the exporter is responsible for the cost and the risk until the exporting port. Then, everything else is covered by the importer. FOB is the term which is often used in trading. This is the last question. Which image does it show? Responsibility of cost or risk? This is three multiple choices. A. Responsibility of cost. B. Responsibility of risk. C. Neither of them are correct. Now, it's 50-50. Choice C will disappear. The answer is A. Responsibility of cost. Let's have a look at another image. We'll go through it together. The key for this question is CFR and CIF. The left side of the image in the previous question showed that the exporter is responsible up to the importing port. This was the cost of logistics. The right side of the image showed that the exporter is responsible for up to the exporting port. This was risks of cargo. The key to get the correct answer is whether you understand these tricky terms or not. Did you like the logistics quiz? It might be easy for you if you are used to these terms. However, 
the encoderms, which the fundamental of trading and logistics knowledge, need to be understood correctly. If an exporter and importer do not understand the terms of the business correctly, it could cause problems. I will create more logistics quizzes for you to enjoy learning logistics. Please look forward to the next one. See you soon. In this channel, I explain about international logistics knowledge for your understanding. I hope this video will be a good support for your logistics job. If you have any shipment from Thailand or to Thailand, please feel free to contact me in Inosan anytime. Also, I'm very motivated to keep updating this video. If you subscribe, press good or comment anything. Well, thank you. See you next time.